Nearly seven hours. You're looking live as State Senator Wendy Davis of Fort Worth filibusters a vote on the abortion bill that passed the House yesterday. And according to Senate chamber rules, that means no bathroom break, no sitting or leaning, and no eating or drinking. The Democratic senator is planning to speak for 13 hours straight. The special session ends at midnight tonight. But lawmakers could be called back to Austin if Governor Perry calls another special session. KXA and political reporter Josh Hinkle's been at the Senate watching the clock tick down. Josh, and you have the latest. That's right, Senator Wendy Davis must make it to midnight. That is the end of the special session. Essentially, she's wasting time running up the clock. The way she's doing that right now, she's reading letters from Texas women who oppose this legislation. I'd say that if you vote for this bill, you're simply happy to ignore medical science and watch women and children die for no reason. Emotional words, choking up sometimes. You can see she's wearing tennis shoes on the Senate floor to stay as comfortable as possible for the long night ahead of her. She must make it to midnight, the end of the special session, to keep the Senate from taking up the bill for a vote. It would limit who and where abortions can be performed and ban abortions after 20 weeks of pregnancy. And throughout the last week, thousands of people, both bill supporters and opponents, have showed up, even as the filibuster plays out. I've been at the Capitol every night um, that they've been in session until about 3 or 4 in the morning, and I'm planning to stay here until midnight tonight with Senator Wendy Davis. It's like watching our own child on the railroad tracks as a train is coming in slow motion. And here's a live look at that uh, growing list of supporters and opponents of this bill. You can see that it's double wrapped here around the rotunda here under the Capitol Dome. And they're all just waiting for their chance to get into the Senate gallery where it's already packed and they're only letting people in two at a time. Two people come out, two more can go back in. No indication when this filibuster might be over. But again, you know, she has to get to midnight to play out the rest of this special session. Back to you. Josh, there's the magic number you just mentioned, midnight. But what will happen if uh, Davis does run out the clock in this special session? Well, you know, a lot of things could happen, actually, but there's a chance that the governor could actually call another special session to tackle this abortion issue if it doesn't make it through in the next, you know, six hours or so. There are two other pieces of crucial legislation that still have to make it through that are trapped behind this abortion bill. They can't come up for a vote until it's passed. We've got highway funding and also one that would tackle uh, punishment for 17-year-olds convicted of murder. Back to you. All right, Josh Hinkle working that story. You'll be there a little into this evening, and we'll be there a little later on in KXN to keep covering the story. Josh, thanks. Senator Davis, no stranger to filibusters. You remember last session on the final day and protest of massive cuts to education? She filibustered the school finance bill, helping to push the legislature into a special session to take up the matter once again, kept lawmakers there even longer. Now, some say today's move gives her a lot of attention ahead of next year's election when many predict she will run for governor. And by the way, a Texan takes the title for longest filibuster on both the state and national level. Senator uh, Bill Meyer holds the record for his 43-hour filibuster on uh, Senate Bill 1275 during the 65th regular session in 1977. Senator Meyer objected to the provision of the bill that would have re prevented public inspection of the records of the Industrial Accident Board. The bill passed anyway.